With the Super Bowl almost here, lots of Valley residents are opening their homes for a profit. They are renting their homes or maybe even rooms. But before you advertise, there are some things you need to know. And joining us is our expert this morning, Bob Hawkinsmith, to help us avoid some pitfalls okay. that you might run into. Good morning. Good morning, Scott. Which I guess would be what? People not paying or trashing your house? That's the biggie right yeah. there. Making sure people don't steal your stuff and yeah. tear your house up. So, That's what's the, the number one thing you have to do, first of all? Well, the first thing you want to do is obviously. So make sure that you've got a good insurance policy with, with your homeowner's policy, number one. Two, make sure that the people renting your house also have insurance in the event that they tear the place up. Right. Now, the, the, most companies that help you rent your house out, they check all this out for you. They're pretty good about that. Right. You also want to make sure you have a good lease agreement. Right. Get the security deposit up front. There's an escrow account that people put the money into so that you know you're going to get the money if something happens. And then most people actually pay the entire lease for the rental up front, and it goes into the escrow account as well. I guess, uh, what about taxes? Do you have to pay taxes? Uh, here's the story on that. If you rent your home for 14 days or less, no matter how much money you get for renting your home, it is tax-free. I the like biggie. that. Yeah. What else should you do just to make sure well, that you, everything goes smoothly? Some of the things you want to do is make sure that, in addition to the renter's insurance, that you have some type of a backup plan in case something breaks in your home. Because right. obviously breaks do happen. Right. So if something happens, you want to make sure you can satisfy these people when they're renting the place. Right. Some people ask for a chef to be available. Some right. people ask for a pool to be available or right. a car to or be available. Maid. Or a maid. Especially. Actually, that benefits you as a homeowner because you know your place is going to stay pretty clean. Exactly. And candidly, what some people do is they come in and clean the place themselves because that way they can see what's going on in the house. Good point. Yeah. Exactly. Now, would, would you meet with these people uh, before they actually take uh, the keys and possession? It depends on, on who's renting your property. If you're renting the property yourself, like you're going through vacationrentalbyowner.com or vrbo.com, yes, you would meet them yourself. If you're using a rental company, you would actually let that rental company handle it for you because that's their job, and you would probably never see these people. What do you do if you do have some uh, valuables in your home? Obviously, you can lock some things up, but what if you have a game room with, exactly. you know, mem memorabilia, sports memorabilia, right. things like that? You just make sure that you have good insurance coverage. You know, there, a lot of insurance policies do not cover collectibles. Right. You know, like if you have, a, you know, an autographed picture of Muhammad Ali or, or Joe right. Frazier or something like that, they don't cover that in your normal homeowner's policy. You have to get a separate insurance writer for valuables such as that. So the Super Bowl's over, you get your house back. Is it wise to go there before they leave to check out your house in front of them? Uh, again, that's usually what happens when the rental company rents for you. They will do that checkout inspection. If you are renting it for yourself, you know, through VRBO.com, mm -hmm. then you, in fact, would do that because there is a security deposit still held in the escrow account that you're going to release once it's been checked. Right. All right. Well, we wish everybody the best of luck. And I, and I, and I think the, the number one thing you have to know is yeah. that you've got to go find another place to live. That's exactly so right. So now you're going to be finding, uh, you know, these hotel, these high-priced rooms and right. things or, like that. So you have that planned out, obviously. Exactly. Right. So don't call me. You can't stay at my house. <laughs> I was going to just ask you that. <laughs> I might want to stay at your house. Uh, so we'll see how things work out. Thank you so much, Bob. We appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thanks, Scott. <laughs>